Good Wednesday morning. Happy hump day. I'm Jared Klein coming to you live from the 29 News Digital Desk with the morning rush. First off this morning, two pharmacies in the Charlottesville area will have to pay a combined $1.3 million to settle civil claims. The U.S. Attorney's Office says the Kroger Pharmacy on Emmett Street and the Harris Teeter Pharmacy in the Hollymead area violated the Controlled Substances Act. It says the pharmacies filled more than 160 illegal prescriptions, including opioids written by a physician acting outside the scope of his medical practice. The U.S. Attorney's Office says pharmacists should have realized this and refused to fill the prescriptions. Charlottesville is in need of firefighters. The fire department's recruitment process has been slow recently. A battalion chief with CFD says people with or without experience are encouraged to apply. Right now, it's legal in Virginia for police to lie during interrogations, but some state lawmakers are pushing to change that. A proposed change to the law would limit police from using any false promises of leniency, giving misleading statements, and using forged documents. And when it comes to the foster care system, there are plenty of ways you can help a child, even if you can't foster one yourself. Soon, the Charlottesville community will be able to easily donate their time and money to those in need in a new way. A new online platform called Care Portal will connect agencies involved with the Department of Social Services to churches and other community groups. This helps children and families get items they need quickly and to build relationships. Care Portal will launch in Charlottesville tomorrow. Are we know being sedentary and not just sitting around all day isn't good for your health? Yes. So there's this um, new report that sitting all day at work boosts your increases your risk of an early death by 16 percent. Mm -hmm. And that's great because we sit all day. <laughs> I mean, we're standing right now. Yeah. But maybe I feel that'll like give we're us. We're active ish. I mean, we're active, yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, standing for the morning rush here that'll give us an extra few minutes. Yeah, maybe think. maybe we're down to 15%. There, there <laughs> we go. We're down to 15%. But the, well, so listen, so this is the good news. Even if, so then the study also found that even if you sit all day at work, if you, in your leisure time, you get at least 15 to 30 minutes a day of physical activity, yeah. you're just, you, you're back to the level of the non-sitters. Okay. I mean, that's pretty easy to so, do. So, yeah, exactly. Go for a 15-minute yeah. walk, and then you're okay if Don't you sit all day. sit all day at work and then go home and then sit, sit all day. All day. <laughs> sit, right. sit all That's night the on the couch. There. That's the problem. So, yeah, you, yeah, you want to get in some activity, even if it's on your own time. So Okay. There's, there's some hope <laughs> there's for us. There's some hope for us. Exactly. All right. You know, it's Valentine's Day is one week away from today. So Pizza Hut will deliver goodbye pies with a breakup message for Valentine's Day. So I, you want to break up with someone, you can send them a pizza, maybe that'll soften the blow. In my opinion, that is a terrible way to break up with somebody. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> maybe it softens the blow I mean, eating the pizza, but. I, it's so bad, it, it really. <sighs> if you've been going out for a few weeks, okay, but if this is like longer than that, and then you get a pizza. Don't oh, be a terrible first person. First you think, oh, it's from my, my sweetheart. And then, yeah. oh, by the way, I'm dumping you. Here's a pizza. I don't even know if I get the message, honestly. Yeah, I just mean, rip open the box and eat the pizza. So. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I'd be like, I don't get it. Wait, what? Yeah, and they're like, I broke up with you a week ago. What? Yeah. <laughs> so that's happening. Yeah. I don't, you know, okay. And then um, take a look at this. So in Florida, when it gets cold, the iguanas and I guess the frogs, they try to find warmth. Can yeah. you imagine looking at your window and there's that wildlife? Just, I can't stand reptiles. Yeah. And so this would freak me out. Yeah, that would definitely be scary. This is in Port, Port St. Lucie, Florida. I mean, if you're in Florida, you're probably more used to seeing those out and about. I guess so. Now, if I saw those here on my window, I'd be a bit more concerned. <laughs> I'd be like, well, where did those come from? <laughs> what is happening? Is that a frog? Aw. Yeah. Now the frog's cute. I don't know about the lizards, but. I, I would die. Yeah. Oh. It's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, let's take a look at our seven-day <laughs> forecast. We will be in the 50s today, so it'll definitely be warming up. And then by the end of the week, we'll be 
in the mid 60s we will feel great out there but then our big chance of rain comes for our monday so make sure you're planning on that but it looks like before we get there it will be a nice weekend ahead a nice rest of the week ahead really have a great wednesday out there we'll see you again on 29 news at noon